What's going on YouTube? It's Cool Ninja Guy here. Today I will show you guys how to uh, make your audio nice and epic uh, using Adobe Audition. Um, you can do this for commentaries, you know, it's what I do for my commentaries and my tutorials on how to make my voice sound a lot better. Um, I don't auto-tune the hell out of it. Uh, it's just small fixes to make your voice sound deeper, um, clearer, and better in general. Um, I'm using Adobe Audition. If you have not seen my tutorial on how to go straight from After Effects to Adobe Audition, uh, you can check that out on my channel. Um, so what I do is I have, right now I have my uh, audio from this video right here, this tutorial. So uh, I exported it uh, straight to Adobe Audition. So now I have this audio file. So if you notice, I have about eight seconds of quiet right right before I actually uh, start talking. Um, I do this for all my videos because uh, I can use noise cancel. Um, noise canceling just makes your audio a lot clearer. So let me just play this and kind of hear it. It's a lot of background noise from my computer humming or just shit in general or on my basement. Um, it could be aliens for all I know. But um, so there's a little bit of audio that I left, I leave about, you you know, 8 seconds, 8, 10 seconds. Um, Adobe Audition works best if you give it about more than 5 seconds of audio to noise cancel. So what you do, uh, first thing I do with my audio is to make it clear with the noise cancel. So just drag from like the 7 seconds or maybe 8 seconds from here all the way to the front and then go to effects, noise reduction, and capture noise print. What this does is that it uses that as the ambient noise and it cancels that out from your whole audio. So then go to effects, noise reduction, noise reduction, then click select entire file and presets. It has already captured your noise print, so then hit apply and it will apply that on there. Take a little bit, but there you go. So now you see it's dead quiet. So if I play this through, you're gonna hear nothing. See? Completely quiet, absolutely nothing. Um, so that's one way that I, it's one addition that I do to my videos to make them sound a little better for my audio. Um, that's what I do here. And then what I do now is I usually trim this off, but I'm going to trim that off in After Effects because my video is kind of, you know, on there as well. So what you do now is I'm going to go to, uh, I think it's Effects Rack and presets and you can play around these presets some of them make your voice sound really weird like boxing announcer makes it sound very off in the distance well looks like my uh... computer is not good enough but let me just play the series here it sounds really weird see that's just me talking but it sounds like it's in a big arena which I don't like there's a lot of different things music enhancer uh... see underwater speech shut up i know my computer stinks so, you know, it sounds like it's underwater with the right reverb and stuff. But what I do is I put on the radio, no, pod, is it podcast voice or radio announcer? I'm pretty sure it's radio announcer voice. Hey, what's going on, YouTube? It's Cool Ninja Guy here. It makes it sound a little loud. So, um, let me see. I, it might have been podcast voice. I'm not too sure. Oh, well, guess not. Hey, what's going on, YouTube? It's Cool Ninja Guy here. Well, that one sounds good as well. If I just go default and there's nothing on there, I can play it. Hey, what's going on, YouTube? It's Cool Ninja Guy here. It sounds a little bland, but what I like to do is I usually throw on that radio announcer. Voice, I do throw that on, or podcast voice, and it can make my voice sound a little better. Um, so that's just a small effect that I could do if I'm talking kind of loud or you know, quietly or if it sounds like I'm far away. I can deepen my voice, make it sound make it sound a little better, more clear, just a better voice in general. So I'm going to throw on my radio announcer voice preset. I think I'm going to turn it down a little bit actually. I think I can do that. Just can I can I just add on some uh I don't know. Eh. All right. But um I can just turn this down on After Effects then. But so once you get your whatever preset you want or you can play manually with it, all you do is hit apply and it will if you're not selecting anything, it will do the whole clip. So, it's slowly adding this on. Here we go. And I can play it through. You see, it's definitely a lot spikier and a lot deeper. Hey, what's going on, YouTube? It's Cool Ninja Guy here. You know, it sounds a lot deeper, a lot clearer. Uh, that's what I do for my commentaries. I add that. Um, that's really all I add. You can play around more, add whatever you like. Um, Adobe Edition has some cool fit. Um, a cool amount of other things you can do as well. Like, if you're a music producer, there's other settings. And look at this. There's even an export to SoundCloud upload to SoundCloud but when I'm done I just go export file and I export it as a WAV 
um, this and it's I have it to my audio folder and then I just hit OK and it exports and I just you know do whatever I want with it so uh, that's it for this tutorial um, if you enjoyed please hit the like button below subscribe button up top helps me out a ton and yeah so thank you guys for watching my name's Cool Ninja Guy and I'll see you later here we go